No, you don't. Oh, you did. You did. I'm gonna be candid here. One of the top things I love about my 2018 Mustang GT350 is not what you'd think. I love the fact that when I'm getting gas, I don't actually have to walk around the other side of the car to get to the gas cap. I find that time savings and energy savings to be awesome. And on that note, the other thing I love about the Mustang GT350 is related. I don't actually have a gas cap. You just stick the gas thing in, the gas thing, that's a technical term, and you're good to go. Thank you, Ford, for that time savings. I mean, seriously, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight steps that I don't have to make because they were smart enough to put this on the correct side. Good job, guys. Really, a no-brainer. Done and done. next point. The other thing that I love about the GT350 is that, not that it has a lot of power, it's got 526 horsepower, that's pretty awesome, but it keeps pulling in a linear fashion. So when you floor it, it goes and goes and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls at the same rate, all the way up to 8,250 RPM, and then you shift into second, and it pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls all the way up to 8250 again. Then you shift into third and it just keeps on pulling and pulling and pulling. So what that means is that your back is consistently thrown in the back of the seat and held there. No, it's not like a, a supercharged car yet. Um, but the power's there. It's, it's delivered in a linear fashion. It feels awesome just to be, you know, thrown back in your seat and held there through the entire rev range. And so far, it, it, it seems to do that in all first through fifth gears. Um, sixth gear is kind of like more like an overdrive, but I'm sure if you're going high triple digits, sixth gear would be torquey uh, and powerful as well. But that's another thing I love about the GT350 is that linear power delivery that never lets up. Okay, and the next thing I love about the GT350 is that even when you're at high speeds, you're going 65 miles an hour, you know, you're going 75 miles an hour, you're going 85 miles an hour, you floor it, this will throw you back in your seat. I can't really get a good example of it right now because there's a bunch of cars in front of me. Maybe a tiny one. See, and I'm, that's only 4,000 RPM, so if I really wanted to jump there, I would have downshifted into third. But you get the point. The power's there even when you're going high speeds. Now, if I was in my 2017 STI um, or even my 2018 Mustang GT, that upper power limit just isn't there as much as it is on the GT350. Now, of course, this is a more powerful car. It's a, a 526 horsepower car. But... Let me see if I can get a good, uh, good example. 
example here. So I'm in fourth gear going 78 miles an hour in Mexico. Mexico. Um, now going 80 miles an hour. Linear, linear, linear power delivery. Up over triple digits there. And it just keeps on pulling and it, it just it gets it gets, throws you back in your seat even though you're on at highway speed. So if you have to pass somebody, um, if somebody rolls up and they want to have a good time, you know, you can just floor it and you can be confident that that power's there. good it feels to be in fourth gear driving at highway speeds and to get thrown back in your seat like that. I can't even imagine when I get a supercharger on this, God willing. If it's this awesome now, cannot wait. But guys, I can't do that unless you guys hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, click on the ads, all that kind of good stuff. Word of mouth, share, that kind of stuff, and your boy's going to be able to get a supercharger. Can't do that right now. I like that on the GT350 that you can have the comfort of the Mustang GT and the performance approaching the GT350R. So I've got my seats here that are Alcantara and leather trimmed. Um, it's got a pretty nice interior with the, with the white stitching. It's got the heated and cooled seats. It's got a nice stereo. Um, seats are very comfortable. Uh, even though they're not the Recaro seats, they still, they're still bucket seats uh, and they hold you in place, especially with the Alcantara, which is obviously grippy. So one thing that I love about the GT350 is that I can take this to work I can take it to groceries and then I can take it to the track and all the while I'm driving to all these places I can feel like I'm on a track I like the feel of, 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 of every of every bump of every crack in the road I like to feel it in, in the steering wheel um, and, and, and in my body I just like that race experience I every time I drive I'm pretending I'm on a racetrack and that doesn't mean I'm going illegal speeds in America. Uh, it means that every time I, I, I go through a corner, I'm, uh, you know, downshifting, doing heel to toes, I'm trying to hit that line through the corner, practicing speed techniques. I'm actually going to start a, a sub-series on racetrack techniques that's based on my um, readings. I will distill all of my readings for you um, from experts into a easy to follow YouTube series. Maybe racing for dummies. Yeah. Not that you guys are dummies, but if I can race and I'm a dummy, then it's racing for dummies. So yeah, in summary, I like the GT350 because it is a track experience every single time I drive. Every time! So yeah, just that track experience every time I drive. Love it. Okay, and another thing that I love about the GT350 is Cobras. I like Cobras. Yeah, real Cobras. Snakes. <laughs> Not to pet them or to own them or anything like that. I like the picture of the Cobra on the key and on the back and front of the car and on the little uh, 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 plate over here with the chassis number on it. On the steering wheel, there's a big old Cobra. I mean, what what is batter bottom? I can't say the A word. This is a family channel. What is batter butt than a Cobra? Come on, and he's even bearing his fangs. The Cobra is bearing his fangs, okay? 
I like me some Cobra. Sue me. It's one of my top things I love about the GT350. Actually, don't sue me. I don't have any money. Gotta get more subs. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, I got monetized. A lot of work goes into these videos. Believe it or not, for most of them, I write a script. Sometimes I rehearse, or it's just that I fail so much that it turns into a rehearsal, so I have to keep on recording over and over. Um, of course, you gotta shoot shoot all the clips, then you gotta edit it. it. Takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and days for even the simplest of videos. I mean, unless it's just like a vlog. This one, I'm just vlogging. I'm just kind of speaking as it comes to my head. But still, I'm gonna have to edit in three different cameras here. It takes many, many hours to make these videos, so the payout from the monetization is like pennies. I'm getting paid pennies per hour. So we gotta get more views, more subs, more likes, more clicking on the ads. Love you brothers and sisters. Thanks for supporting the channel. Little fun launch, nothing big. Oh no you don't, oh no you don't. No you don't. Oh, you did. You did. Oh, come on, Falvey Linen Uniform Supply. Supply me with some open road, dude. Hold on. All right, we got a fun little launch there. Uh, one of the features, or the last thing that I'm going to say is one of my favorite things about the GT350 is the is, is something that I was not sure about at first when I first got into it, and that is that it has a feather-like clutch. I mean, it is like a feather. After driving my 2018 Mustang GT, I almost couldn't let out the clutch on this. That's how light this was. I was just too scared. I was like, oh my god, where's this thing going to catch? It's basically like lifting your foot off in the air. Um, but now that I understand why they did that, it's basically because the GT350 is, you know, the comfort version, the commuter's version. Oh, there's a popo in there. I'm not going to be taking this one. Let's just go right by this drive. Let's go by this one. I'm just going to let this one go by. Um, they're probably waiting for me. No, it looks like they pulled over a tractor trailer. Anyway. clutch is good because um, <clears throat> just for normal everyday driving it's just so light but it's also responsive enough you know for race driving the getting back in my friend's Mustang GT the other day my friend was a 2018 it's like putting your foot down on you know a, a, lifting a barbell with your foot that's how that's the difference between the Mustang GT and the GT350. Now the R clutch is a little bit stiffer, but you know the GT350 has a really light clutch. It's really easy on the foot. I can make these two-hour trips to my parents' house uh, without any fatigue in my leg at all. So that's it. Let's wrap that up with um, one of my favorite things being the light clutch on the GT350. Obviously, there's a lot of things that I like about the GT350, but I had to limit it to just a few things, and I didn't want to say the same things that every other person says. So there it is. Some of my favorite things. What's up? Thumbs up if you liked. I try to keep these videos different. Um, there are many car guys out there, many car channels. I try to mix it up, keep you guessing, keep myself looking silly. All right, bras and sisters, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary.